What's going on YouTube? One only riding frame here. And today is a special day. Um, no, it's <clears throat> I just thought I'd throw up a quick video. One, we're gonna try to figure out a color for that thing right there, the Merc, because I cannot decide on a color. So I'm gonna ask you guys what color I should paint it. Um I'm kinda stuck between three colors right now. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh first and foremost though. I know I've, I've mentioned a few times uh, in previous videos about the model situation in my town. Now, today I, I stopped by the, the local toy store, or whatever you want to call it, that I buy my uh, paints, a lot of my supplies and stuff from, um, to try and hope they had a color for my, um, my 55 Chevy Nomad Gasser. Because I messed up the paint, had to you know, repaint it, sadly but um <clears throat> so I needed the gold color um so when I stopped in there I decided well let me turn on my camera and show you guys kinda what the situation looks like pardon the shaky cam so let's check that out real quick so this is the situation uh, these are the limited amount of kits I have to choose from um, some really good kits but you know just really low amount of kits uh, it wasn't always that way. There used to be a lot. Same goes for the tubing. Not a lot to choose from there. Hasn't been that way in probably five or six months. Uh, the paints, you know, they haven't been restocked in a couple months, but it is what it is, I guess. So as you can see, the selection is slim at best. Now, like I mentioned, the store's been that way for... I want to say the last probably two months, because I stop down there maybe once every couple of weeks, maybe once a month, and it's been like that. You know, nothing really to get. They don't really su resupply, um, and, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, nothing really I can do about it. I can ask them to order the stuff for me, but um, it might cost me a little bit extra, and I don't know. I just, you know, it's upsetting, but... You know, you got to do what you got to do. But, anyway, uh, that aside, um, I did get the 55 uh, Chevy Nomad Gasser painted today. Um, it's just the paint. It's not cleared or anything. Give you guys a quick little peek at that. Um, you guys have seen it, though. I mean, it's, it hadn't changed or anything. It's just I had to repaint it. Um, what I did, I tried to lay out some panel-style paint jobs on the or a panel style, like a old lowrider style. Uh, the colors didn't vibe with me. I didn't just didn't like the colors. It was like silver and yellow. Uh, just didn't look that good to me. So I just cleaned the whole thing off. I wet sanded the whole car down except for the rough, um, and just repainted the whole thing today. Uh, I'm gonna let that dry for a couple days before I throw it in clear, and then hopefully once it clears. Good and dry, maybe wet sand, depending on how you know well the clear comes out. Um, then I'll uh, do all my bare metal foil, throw my gla my glass in. Um, I still got to build my stacks, but you know you can see in that video the the uh, tubes tubing and everything. It's, there's just none. It's ridiculous down there. Anyway, um, so you know I got to get a hold of some tubing so I can do all my tubing. Uh, for my uh, stacks because I do want to do um, real aluminum stacks on there I think they'll look a lot nicer um, I have to show you guys real quick uh, I just have to paint up the radiator uh, the core support section there not the radiator itself it's already painted uh, to match the car I'm just going to paint it yellow you can see I started right there but I ran out of the paint that was like the last little bit I had so I can paint that today finally um, <clears throat> and then once it's all done, you guys will get to see the final video. But as of right now, it's where it sets. And as for that thing, um, let's move the, the gas out of the way for a minute. Um, yes, what color, what color? Um, there's so many nice colors out there, I can't choose one. Um, I want to go with a metallic because I feel like a metallic will really set off all the body lines on this car. Um, my choices currently have been a dark green metallic, a really dark green, where it looks black almost in some lights, but then when, <clears throat> excuse me, when the uh, the light hits it, you can see all the you know the green metallic. Um, a dark red metallic, 
has been another option. Or possibly a dark blue metallic. I just can't decide between those three. Um, I kind of want to go with a dark color. I think it's more classy. Uh, it looks a lot more low and mean, I guess. And then, yeah, I just really want to go with a metallic just to set off all those body lines and the curves because this thing has some really, really pretty curves. So, voice your opinions, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Even if you think of another color that maybe isn't red, blue, green, whatever, um, you know, throw your opinion on the board. Uh, all will be listened to and much appreciated. So, uh, with all my rants and raves and questions of the day out of the way, um, I'm going to say like always till next time. Later.